hanging out in Lake Tahoe for the week, had to make a family feast, let's eat! Dinner is served. Let's go. Guys, dinner is ready, sick fun! Finally! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! What's good guys, back, back with another video. video. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys a family feast. Right now, we're in Lake Tahoe with my family, hanging out in the Airbnb. Just got back from the lake and we're gonna be making some dinner. T, what's on the menu today? Tonight, we got some steaks, some lamb chops, some shrimp, everything. We have a poor bill of mushrooms. Oh yeah, we got veggies, some. we got some rice. We got everything, we got dessert too. Oh yeah, Spencer's gonna make us some nice dessert. Yep. And yeah, you ready to get started? Let's go. Before we get started, yo T, that's a really nice shirt. Thank you, I just got it. But if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that right now. Now, let's go cook, follow All right, me. we out. All right, right now we're gonna sous vide the steaks and the lamb chops. Spencer here is gonna teach me how to use this. All right, first thing, we gotta fill this up with water. Okay. Get hot water so hot that water. it like, heats it up quicker. This thing is heavy. Oh, we gotta get heavier. Good thing I work out. Wink, wink, follow our workout to eat more IG. Right here. Yeah. Cool, so we plug this in. Good plug thing there's that an in. here. What is this? How much is this thing? How much does it cost? Yeah. Ooh, when I got it, it was like a hundred dollars. Was it on Amazon? Uh, my friend got it for me. Uh, uh, but get it on Amazon. <laughs> oh, right. if you guys also, our Amazon links are down below. Use it. So this part here, it sticks to the side. What the okay. heck? Just screw it in so it sticks. So we're gonna go 135? to 130. Let's do 133 because okay. it kind of fluctuates up and down. Gotcha. Now it starts to circulate. It's going to heat it up. Ooh. While we do that, you can marinate, marinate the, the steaks. You know what it looks like? It looks like a fish tank. Hey, Nick. You look so handsome. This is crazy. It's cool, right? Um, it's like a jacuzzi for me. We have two racks of lamb, five pieces of steak. We need, a, <laughs> we need, a, we need a control. All right. And Sounds an independent variable. Oh, okay, okay, And a Nick. dependent variable. Okay, Nick. So, do you know what the control is? What's the control? The sous vide. <laughs> no, the, the steak. <laughs> no, the control is the steaks. <laughs> I think the soup is gonna taste better than the. Okay. The okay. That's, that's only if T doesn't make a mistake. Oh. A mistake. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's get started. That was very funny. I am like a ribeye, no fat cat. <laughs> Zach is like a strip steak, huge fat cat. Huge cat. For those meat lovers out there, which one do you prefer, ribeye or New York strip? <clears throat> <laughs> All right, let's start seasoning some steaks here. We got some salt. Salt going on. Garlic powder. And some black pepper, of course, on all the steaks. Just like that. I need to massage it now. Okay, massage, massage. Get in there, T. I am getting in there. <laughs> oh, Everybody comes in here. <laughs> oh, they don't know yet because. They haven't seen. Oh yeah, they don't know the yet. Dessert clips. So we open it up more, so it doesn't contaminate the outside. Drop them in. Should we do each individual one or no? No, we can do two in one. Okay. okay. Remind. Um, all right. So now let me show you how to drop them in, because you have to right. vacuum seal it in the water. T, you will do one too. Okay. But what I do is I ziplock halfway through for now. Okay. I actually do three quarters. Three, three quarters. quarters. All right. So be careful because this is gonna be kind of hot, but okay. you're gonna need to stick your hands in here. Oh. So you submerge it. Yep. Let the air get out. It's kind of hot. So stick it in as much as you can to submerge it all the way through so that all the air gets out. And before it hits the pink line here, you seal it. Mm. So what would happen if it's not as sealed as we would like? It might create a bubble, so a couple things would happen. It might not cook evenly, oh, okay. and also it'll start floating. Put it in like this? This has to be flat? Um, you just need to stick everything in underneath the pink line, but don't go over the pink line because water will get in. Yeah, people use vacuum seals too, but this is the way to do it without a vacuum seal. Oh, okay. Well, let's all close and then close this close up. That. Yeah, close it all up completely. And you gotta make sure it's no water gets in or else it'll boil the steak. Yeah. All right, now we just need the rack of lambs to go in there too. All right. For the lamb chops, we wanted to marinate it with red wine. We didn't know which one to pick, so we, with our previous experience, we've had Mayomi. Also, Pinot Noir. We don't have a wine key and this is twist off, so it works well. For the garlic, you think I just crush it? Yeah, yeah, mince, just crush, like, not crush it and crush then it just and put it in? add it to the bag. Okay. We're gonna also use some garlic. We're gonna crush the garlic cloves just like that and just add it in 
the Ziploc bag. You're not gonna peel the the skin off the garlic? Nope, we don't need to because the flavors will get in because we're subbing it. I don't know what the heck that we're being right now. <laughs> <laughs> she has, crazy, she has her master's degree. She doesn't even know what permeate means. <laughs> yeah. You're a master, well, you're also. A master yeah. also. Yo, the yeah. two smartest people in the room, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cross hatchet. Cross hatchet. Right now? Yes, yeah. right now. Do you know what that means? Like just score it? Yeah. 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 Be more generous. I've never well actually I've never made it like this as a rack. I usually just cut it into lollipops. So scoring it actually helps the fat render down and the marinade helps the marinade get into the meat. Sure. Alright, let's season the lamb chops starting with Onion powder. Let's go. Going in. Oh, you're generous, generous. You got the heavy hands. <laughs> Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Cumin. <laughs> Yo, we should have got time. And then we have salt. And last but not least, pepper. All right, now T, you rub it in to make sure all the seasonings permeate into the meat. Okay. Yeah, get into those little. Get into the little crevices. cracks and crevices right. that you made. Same thing on the other side. Bag them up. And bag them oh, up. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, hold on, T, you do the the honor of pouring the wine in. Oh, oh yeah, this wine. Oh, we yeah, almost yeah. forgot. Ooh. All right, wine going in. Tell me when to stop. That's good. So far, the only thing they've been watching is just meat handling. <laughs> Ooh, I caught a huge whiff of that wine. All right, this is all done. How long? Two hours. Two hours. I'm going to set a two-hour timer, and then we'll come back to check on it. All right, guys. While we were waiting for the sous vide to finish up, me and Nicholas, we went from <coughs> for a run and some pull-ups. We ran, like, probably 10, 15 miles, but so tired. <laughs> We ran like 1.2 miles collectively with some walking, but there were some hills and we did two sets of pull-ups. If you guys want to see some of that, follow my workout page at workout to eat more. Woo! We're gonna eat later and we're gonna eat good. We have about 20 minutes until this is the sous vide is done. Okay. We need to start making the veggies. So Nick needs to grill outside. I will make the broccolini. Rice is done. When do we do shrimp? We need to prepare it. We need to prepare it. So it's already dried. Everything's dried. Oh, you did it all? Yeah. So oh, it's just, 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 just fry. Salt it. Uh huh. Bread it. Fry it. That's easy though. The sous vide's almost done, so let's work on some broccolini. Garlic and shallots going on. Ooh, that smells good already. Back home in Dallas, we have an electric grill, but this is gas stove, and I miss it so much, for real. If we ever get a house, it needs to be a gas stove. Broccolini going in. One. Jumbo portobello mushroom caps going on. Damn, we've been using the word caps so much today. It's just salt and pepper, avocado oil. And then we also got asparagus. You want to go across the grates so it doesn't fall through the grill. Ah, oh, nice. How long is this going to take to cook? It's going to take like 10, 15 minutes until it's to the softness or doneness that you prefer. Okay, broccolini is done. Let's plate it. Get it on the plate. Laura, what are you making? I'm gonna make the kale. Okay, okay. okay. Takes a lot of skill to cook okay, the kale. Okay, okay, okay. Got some olive oil going in. And we'll do one bag at a, at a time. Okay. Yep. Kale going in. Going in. Oh. Alright, asparagus is done. Oh, that's how I like it. Alright. They're not getting the perfect grill marks that I expected, but they seem done. Wow, looks pretty good. All right, shrooms done. All right, Laura and I will finish up the veggies and the fried shrimp. Nick, I need you to go outside and grill the steaks, okay? Yes, chef. <laughs> Two hours done, let's check on our mates. Lamb racks right here. Damn. And we got some ribeye and New York strip right here. Check them out. Hey, I see myself in the mirror. I got two phones. Ooh, it's hot. This is how the ribeye is looking. We need to pat it dry now. I know it looks a little bit weird right now, but trust the process. Once we sear it, it's gonna look amazing. Ribeye going on here. Next, New York strips. Ooh, 
These are thick. Let's pat them dry. New York strip going on here. All right, rack of lambs. Ooh, ooh. And let's dry it and get off the garlic. Rack of lamb going on here. This is our meat platter. I know it doesn't look so appetizing right now, but trust the process. We got some ribeye, New York strip, and a rack of lamb. Here you go. Go grill it. I feel like we should slice the rack of lamb to get do like the, the lollipop. Yeah, style. yeah, yeah. See them. Okay, okay. Let's do that. All right, let's slice our lamb into lollipops and see how they look. Damn, that ah, looks perfect yo. right now. That's and mad. And we get that sear. They looking like Nick. <laughs> <laughs> we just cut the lamb chops and now we're gonna oil and salt and pepper them before we put them on the grill. Now, all the meat is ready to be grilled. All right, here we got the New York strip going down in the back of the grill because it seems hotter. Here we have the ribeye. Yeah. And then we got the lamb chops. The lamb chops are gonna be easy. We have all the meat on the grill. Now we wait. Spence, how's it look? Literally fire. <laughs> Zach, I need you in here. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What do you got going on? All right, we got some shrimp. We're about to fry it, but first we need to season. Laura, salt and pepper me. Okay. Yep. Pepper. Same thing on the other side. Yep. Cornstarch. <laughs> Going on, we don't have flour, so we're just gonna use cornstarch. I think it'll be okay. All right, just throw it in the cornstarch and mix it around. Imagine we made bang bang shrimp. Ooh. That's how we make it too. All right, steaks are done. Wow. Just a quick sear. All right, here's the strip. Look at that, guys. And here is the ribeye. All right, Tim, you ready? It's yeah, yeah, hectic, yeah. it's hectic. It is hectic, but I think we're ready to fry some shrimp. Nick, how long does the shrimp go in for, you think? Probably until it, until it looks done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> mother, okay. mother sucker. Shrimp going in, mother sucker. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna fry this, and I'm gonna show you when it's done. All right, we're working on a time crunch. We yes, got hungry yes, yes. people and We got people hangry people. We gotta eat. And last thing for the shrimp, some lemon juice right on top. Perfect. Hey, hey, what else missing? You got grease on your lips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's grab our ribeye. That's sous vide, right? Yep. Okay, let's cut it. Let's cut into it. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Hold it up. Look in a good medium. Yeah, that's, that's medium. That's, that's medium. medium, okay. Right. You think some are medium, some are medium rare or what? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right, it's juicy. Look at that. Wow. All right, this is the sous vide New York strip. Let's check it out. Yeah, there you go. Looking like no, that's a good. medium, but it's super juicy. The sous vide ones are super juicy. Yeah, for real. That's really juicy. All right, everything is done. Let me show you what we got. Starting right here, we got some salt and pepper fried shrimp. All right. Moving along, we got some New York strip and ribeye. More steak, of course. And then we got some lamb chops that was marinated in some red wine and garlic. All right. Then we got our veggies of portobello mushrooms, broccolini, asparagus. Of course, more veggies, some kale, and because we're Asian, there's always rice. And then we're gonna, what are we gonna be drinking? Some red wine. All right. All let's right. It. Let's go. Hanging out in Lake Tahoe for the week. Had to make a family feast. Let's eat. Dinner is served. Let's go. Guys, dinner is ready. Sick fun. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! The most well done is this, like this these one? pieces, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, these look, these are really well done. Perfect. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that, come on. Wow, oh, this is amazing. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Damn, the amount of rice, Dad! <laughs> let me see your plate, Kim. Let me see what you're working with. Okay, alright. Alright, all right, Mom, let me see your plate, too. <laughs> Alright, pretty healthy, pretty healthy plate. Alright, and the chef yeah, eats yeah, last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. This is amazing. Family that prays together stays together. Let's pray. Alright guys, time to eat. Alright guys, ready? One cheers and then we're done. Cheers! Here you guys go. This piece is for you guys. Take the first bite. Well done, Nick. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, it's I good, it's good, it's good. It's good. <laughs> All right, Spencer, show me what you're making today. All right, we're gonna make a brown butter lemon bar. We pre-mixed all the dry ingredients, so it makes it a lot easier to make it at the Airbnb. Gotcha. The first thing is to make the crust because normal, traditional lemon bars 
Uh, you don't brown the crust, mm -hmm. but this one we're gonna brown it to add a little more flavor into it. So we're gonna bake it first, okay. and then we're gonna throw in the lemon filling afterwards. All right, let's get started. Let's go. First thing we need to do, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, let's do it. Now we're gonna put in this dry mix. It's mm -hmm. confectioner sugar and flour, so very straightforward. In the bowl. And then next, next. is three quarters cups of butter. Cut the butter. Cut the butter. We just throw in the butter to mix it. Normally it's done in a stand mixer, but we don't have that luxury at an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna use our hands. Okay. After mixing it for three, four minutes, this mm -hmm. is what it comes out. It's kind of like a dough and we're gonna throw it into here. Okay. We're gonna need some parchment paper because that way it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Smart. And we can pull it out easier to cut it later. Oh. Going in. Yeah. <laughs> and we just gotta flatten out this dough a little bit more. Now that it's all flattened out, we gotta stab it a few times. Okay. That way those bubbles will not blow up this crust. Okay, now we gotta bake this for 25 to 35 minutes in the oven. All right. Next, we gotta make our lemon filling. So okay. we're gonna need a lot of lemon juice. How much? It's one cup and two tablespoons. All so right. I'm gonna need your it? help. We squeeze it. All right. And make sure you don't miss any juice in here. Anyone that wants to eat a lemon bar tomorrow needs to come squeeze some lemons. Nicholas? Fine. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Squeeze. Feels so much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go, Uncle Warren. All right, all right, all right. Oh, man, these are hard lemons. Come on. Oh. There we go. I'm squeezing, and that is my contribution. I the whole pressed time. like a lemon just for this video. <gasps> okay. Which one is this one? You got the juice. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, I got the juice. You got the juice. Next up, Laura squeezes some lemon juice. Oh, she has a tactic. This is what I do with my limes. Mm. Yo, why are you getting so much She's juice? She's good. She's yeah. good. <laughs> and lastly, Mama Chin with the lemon squeeze. All right. Let's start on the filling. All right. We need six eggs and one egg yolk. Okay. One. All right, dry ingredients going in first. Okay, Flour, what's in there? sugar, and salt. Oh, sugar and salt. Going in. Going in. Next, one cup and two tablespoons of lemon juice. Oh yeah. The lemon juice, the whole family squeezes. Going in. Okay. Going, going in. in. And last but not least, mm -hmm. one small lemon zest. Uh, now we mix everything. All right. Stab, mix it, mix it. Stab oh, all stab the it, first, and then mix everything <laughs> together. All right, everything's mixed. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. A little more lemon. Okay. We got extra lemon juice. We got extra Perfect. lemon juice. Now we put the filling straight into this beautiful brown crust. Ooh. All right, filling going in. Okay. First, I'm just gonna put a strainer over here. Careful. Now it's going in for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, let's wait. All right, I think it's ready. Let's just check to make sure it's not jiggling in the center. All right, it's firm, we're good. We have to wait overnight? Yes. All right, so you're gonna see the final product tomorrow. All right, hopefully all right. it comes out in one piece. Nice. All right, all right. Transfer that. Oh, cut off all the edges, nice. Cut off all the edges. All right, let's get some powdered sugar in here. All right. We'll do it a little higher so it evenly drops below. You gotta be generous with this as well. Yeah. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, that's right. <laughs> let's serve these lemon bars. Yeah, these are almost Who gets the first one? Um, Mama Chen, you get the first lemon Ooh, bar. Yay. Second one, Mama Chen. Here you wow, go. Wow, thank you, but hers is bigger than mine. <laughs> there you go. Come here. Oh, oh thank you, T. Thank you. Smile, Nick. I'll take it. I'll take it. Zachary? Oh. Thank there you, thank you, you, thank you. Don't forget about you, T. Oh, yeah, Tolisa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For you guys. Let's try the lemon bar. First oh. bite. That end part must be so good. Oh. What you think? What you think? I'm going. Let them have a bite too. Show us some. Look at that. Wow, that crust is amazing. All right, guys, we just finished eating. We are so full. I'm stuffed. Like, I can't even move full. I'm also very tired from just the whole day. We've been very active, hanging out in the water, going on hikes, mm -hmm. running, doing pull ups, everything. Um, but, yep, this is the end of the video. T, I want you to give them a special oh, word oh, of the oh, day. Oh, okay. Special word, guys. If you made it to this point of the video, make sure you comment down below the word 
Mistake. Mistake. You guys heard it. You guys heard Spencer's pun. Also, comment down below your best steak pun. We want to see it in the comment section. With that being said, this is the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.